Coming up today on That LTD Life, I'm gonna be testing out Fraud Blocker. This is a tool that connects up to your Google Ads account or your Facebook Ads account and attempts to mitigate any sort of fraudulent clicks. So that could be something like somebody accidentally clicking on your ad or something more mischievous, maybe someone maliciously clicking on your ad in attempt to drain your budget. I'm gonna be going ahead and showing you all of the features. Unfortunately, I was not able to connect up a client account. I wanted to do that for this video, but I'll show you what happened when I tried to do so. Otherwise, I'm not trying to discredit the product right away. They're having a little service outage at the moment, but let's go ahead and check it out here. It's currently $69, ends in eight days. So pretty short amount of time. By the time you watch this video, it'll be down to seven days. Definitely check it out, decide whether or not you think it's a good fit, and then pick it up and take advantage of that AppSumo 60-day return policy in order to fully test it out. Now let's go ahead and get into the setup process and you'll see how it all works. Now, after you go through the fraud blocker onboarding process, you'll see a screen that looks like this. It has a bit of a code here. You wanna copy that code and then put it on your website. I'm gonna do it on a WordPress website in a moment, but they do have step-by-step -step guides here for all of the major platforms, whether you're using WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, Shopify, or just using Google Tag Manager, you can put it inside of that and then Tag Manager loads inside of your website. So let's go through and do this over on WordPress. I'm just using the free Fluent Snippets plugin here in order to add this code. I'm gonna choose, uh, let's do PHP and HTML. I'll paste it in there, and we will go ahead and add this to our header. So under Snippet Run Location, I'll do Site-Wide Header, create the snippet, and activate. Next up, we're gonna confirm that this snippet is working. Before I do that, I wanna clear the cache on my website. If you have any sort of caching on your website, I recommend clearing it as well. So let me go ahead and do this quickly. All right, so I'm using Cloudflare on our website. I'm just gonna to go to the Cloudflare plugin, choose Purge Cache, Purge Everything, Confirm, and momentarily here, I'll be able to go back to Fraud Blocker and double check that the tracking code has actually been inserted. Okay, so back over on Fraud Blocker, I'm gonna go ahead and check the installation of the code right here, and it is checking. And sure enough, it was installed successfully. All right, so step one done. We've got our tracking code installed. Now step two is to actually connect our ads platform. Now you can use either Google Ads or Meta Ads. Notice that Meta Ads is newer, it's currently in beta, so I'm gonna be sticking with Google Ads for this video. Now if I click over to the Google Ads section, you can log in with Google and just connect up your account, no problem. But I wanted to connect up a account that's actually running ads and I don't personally run any ads for our company but we do run ads for some of our clients and we do that through an MCC account, which is kind of the standard way that you'd provide ad service to clients. Unfortunately, they're having an outage of some kind. It says due to high volume of requests, MCC invitations are experiencing a temporary issue. And whenever I've tried this, which has happened multiple times now, I get an error and cannot connect our MCC account. So I'm going to have to proceed showing you all of the features, but without actually tracking any real ads. So I'm gonna trust the Sumolings out there. They've given this a very, very high score. You can see it's got 69 reviews and it looks like four and a quarter tacos. And scanning through the reviews, almost everybody universally says it does a good job, but there's a few things they'd like to see improved. So I'm gonna connect up our Google Ads account here in a moment, but I'll have to trust you guys that this is actually saving you some cash. So let's go ahead and sign in with Google here. Then you have to give all of the appropriate permissions and hit continue. After that, your account will be connected and the fraudulent clicks can begin to be prevented. Now, if you're wondering why you have to connect up your Google Ads account, it's so they can block the fraudulent IP addresses in real time. So essentially what's gonna happen here is they will be able to identify a fraudulent click and then immediately send it over to Google so they won't be able to rack up additional clicks. Now, a quick note here, it says that Google Ads does not have IP exclusion from Performance Max, Discovery, and Smart Shopping campaigns. Therefore, basically the tool will not work for those campaign types. Now, the third part of the setup is conversion tracking. We're gonna grab the code right here and then put it on our website, just like we did for the fraud tracking code back in step one. What the conversion tracking code does is tracks IP addresses on your website. And when a visitor becomes a customer, then it knows to exclude them from any IP blocking in the future. All right, so the website setup is now complete. Of course, if you wanna use this tool with multiple websites, you'll need to get a plan that corresponds to that. And I'll show you the AppSumo plans a little bit later on, but ideally you'd be able to add as many websites as you need through this little dropdown here and easily switch back and forth between different client accounts. All right, now let's take a look at the main overview screen. This will give you data on all of your websites. So I'm on overview right here and we're looking at Google ads currently. So we can see the ad network over here and how much is reported as clean, suspected, or invalid traffic. 
We can also see the fraud type, whether it's excessive clicks using a VPN, a blacklist or abuse, risky geo, so basically risky areas, accidental clicks and risky devices. You'll be able to see a site by site summary down below showing total visits, ad visits, block clicks, block percentage, fraud score, and the amount that it has saved you on that particular website. Of course, we've got the big number up here, which is the total savings across all of your sites. You might also be wondering, well, if I buy a plan with five websites and I max those all out and then a client leaves, could I get that site back? And you absolutely can. Just click right here where it says delete a website that takes you into the setup screen. And there's actually a little trash can next to the URL here. So you can simply click it and then the site will be gone. Okay, so that is the overview screen for all sites, but we can also see the exact same data on a site by site basis. So you see the little divider here. Above this is all websites, below it is single websites. We can go under analytics and get almost an identical screen here, but now it's just for a single website. We can also see our fraud score. The fraud score represents the average amount of activity from bots and other invalid activity to your advertising campaigns. And it's gonna be broken down by type here. We've got excessive clicks, VPN, all the same stuff we saw before, blacklist, risky geography, accidental clicks, and risky devices. Can customize this by the way. So if you want to turn off certain tracking, you can do that. We can turn off VPN blocking or accidental clicks. You even have the ability to turn on aggressive blocking. It says by enabling this feature, fraud blocker will reduce its scoring threshold to block additional IP sources that are suspected to be fraud, but not confirmed. Be aware this may significantly reduce your overall ad traffic. Or on the opposite end of aggressive blocking, there is also monitoring only mode. It says when this is enabled, fraud blocker will only monitor your click activity. It will no longer block any IP addresses. So if you're a little timid about trying this out, you could do so with monitor only mode and gather the data, but not actually do anything about it. Okay, so that is the fraud score. Now let's head over to the last section, which is reporting. We'll click right over here on reports and you can see the reporting start to show up here. Now, obviously I don't have any data in this account, but the way that it would work is you can set a certain time frame. So let's say I did just today, the last seven days, the last 30 days, this month, the last three months, you can set up all of these different reports and you'll have basically a snapshot of how your account is doing in that time period. So it's gonna show us IP address, status, fraud score, primary fraud type, traffic source, last seen, first seen, ad clicks, conversions, country, and region. And then you can take that, export it into a file. Let's go ahead and download this. We can choose between a CSV or just printing it off. I would probably recommend downloading it as a CSV and then turning it into some charts or graphs to actually make it useful to your clients. Now, right now we're looking at all reports, but of course you could do this on a platform by platform basis. So if you wanna have a dedicated report for Google ads and another report for meta ads, you could definitely do that as well. Well, that's everything that Fraud Blocker has to offer. Let's head over to the AppSumo plans and pricing and see what we're gonna get for our cash. So $69 is tier one. I wanna give AppSumo a shout out for bringing the link back here to click and go right to the pricing tables. I appreciate that. So 69 bucks is tier one. For that, you're gonna get a single website and three team members. There is a team feature here. Let me show you that. You just go under your account and then user management. You can add your users right here. When you do this, you can choose access levels between viewer, admin, manager, and client. So that's tier one. If you move up from tier one to tier two, you're gonna get two additional websites and seven additional team members, bringing it up to three total websites and 10 team members. And we also get an increase in clicks. Now it doesn't quite scale up, like you're not getting three X of everything, but keep in mind, it's only $80 more to go from tier one to tier two, and it's pretty close to three X more. After that, everything goes to unlimited and you're paying for the number of clicks per month that you need. So with tier three, we're getting 50,000 clicks. With tier four, we're getting 150,000 clicks. With tier five, we're getting 400,000 clicks. And if you cough up $1,000, you'll get a million total clicks per month across all domains. All right, so now it's time for my final thoughts. But before I give you those, make sure you hit that like button and get subscribed to the channel. Now, Fraud Blocker, I think this is an amazing concept for a tool. Now, it's not original. There are other tools out there that block fraudulent clicks, but they are very expensive. I like Fraud Blocker's approach here, and I certainly like the price point. If I were running ads more actively for clients, it's just not our focus these days. But if it was, I definitely would be picking up probably one of the higher end tiers here because you don't wanna run into any sort of limitations if you have a large client. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to give Fraud Blocker a final score because I was not able to connect it up to my MCC account. 
due to the service outage, but I do think it is a very interesting tool. I like the fact that it has a simple interface. It doesn't have too many features. It just basically gives you the information for what it's actually doing. And I find that very, very useful. So if you do wanna try out Fraud Blocker, I've got a link in the description. And when you click on that, it definitely helps out the channel. So that's gonna do it today. Make sure you head over to clientamp.com, get subscribed for the email newsletter, leave me any questions or comments down below, and I will see you in the next review.